Peter, tell us about this product. Uh, the product was uh, built, it's built in the Czech Republic and it was designed and conceived by a guy that had a desperate need to mow steep banks. He built motorways or freeways as you call them over here in the, in the USA uh, for the Czech government. And for a year after uh, handing over the freeway to the Czech government, he was asked to maintain the banks. He scoured the world, he couldn't find a mower to do it. So him and his cousin went in the, to their backyard, into their garage and designed the prototype of this machine you see here today. And, and a machine like this wouldn't have been possible a few years ago. I mean, uh, it, it, it works on remote control. T tell us how all that works. Um, everything is controlled from the remote control panel, uh, starting it, stopping it, adjusting the height of cut, uh, steering it from forward, backwards, sideways, every which way but loose. The machine has 360 degree steering. It has four wheel drive and four wheel steer. Uh, which makes it extremely maneuverable because it can it can go wherever you want it to go around trees around ponds uh, it can uh, mow up to 40 degrees in its normal mode but it can actually mow up to an incredible 60 degrees with its winch attachment the winch doesn't exactly pull it up the slope it's used like a, a fifth wheel on a motor car and it just stabilizes the machine while it's doing its, its steep climb. And I doubt many people will have a yard that's 60 degrees. After that, you want to buy some goats. Yeah, and, and tell us about the, the uh, technology, the engine, and, and different components, and what's all inside. Yeah, the engine is a, a, a standard um, Kawasaki EFI engine, 21 horsepower. Uh, the system that's employed to steer it is a continuous uh, belt drive around the machine and final chain drive to the uh, drive wheels via a hydraulic motor. Um, it's a very sophisticated piece of equipment and while it might look fun, it is a very serious piece of equipment uh, and needs to be treated as so. I want to get into the, the price on it. It's, it's not an inexpensive machine. It's not an inexpensive machine. It's uh, hundred dollars short of thirty five thousand uh, US dollars um, but you have to in, in a commercial environment you have to accept that this machine is as productive as 15 guys on weed weed eaters so when you start doing the math how much does a guy cost per hour how many hours is he working a week then this can make sound commercial sense and most of all it does it safely without any fear of the operator injuring himself while it's while he's operating the machine. So, I mean, this is our largest model with a 48 inch of cut. We do a 32 inch cut model, um, which is uh, 25, 900. So you don't have to pay premium price for the big model. If you're a homeowner, high end homeowner, then the smaller width of cut machine would suit you just as well. But you would cut your yard on a steep slope safely. And that's the most important thing. How rough cut can it do? I mean, is, is, is it designed to be kind of a lawnmower or a brush hog too? It's designed to be both. If it can knock it down, it can probably mulch it. Yep, but we do have uh, finishing blades on there and the lowest height of cut we can go to is an inch and the highest is about 4.7 inches. So you've got a quite a range of however you want to leave your lawn looking or your, your yard looking. You've got a range of options there either way. So. If a person wanted more details about this product, where do they go? Uh, they'd go to Slopecare uh, out of Orlando. If you go to www.slopecare.com, uh, there'll be all the information there, and that would be the ideal place. And Slopecare in Florida is a distributor of this product, and I understand uh, if you can't find a dealer in your area, contact them, and, and but they are looking for dealers. We are looking actively looking for dealers out there. So uh, we've had a good response at the show. We've got uh, about 70 applicants to look through, so we're, we're really pleased. We've had a great show at the GIE.